guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to continue our discussion about foundation so we are still on foundation so last topic we talk about how to uh, add step footings okay so this time around uh, we are going to add a step footing in place family so I'm going to teach you how to create an in place family Okay, so the family that so far we are using is loadable family and system family. Okay, so now the third type of family that we will be using is in-place family. Alright, so that is the fa type of family that we will be doing to create a step footing family. Okay, so last time we create a step footing by editing the profile of the wall so this time around so let us use in place family to create a step footing family all right so let's get started so let's open up this okay so after learning how to create a step footing family in place uh, in place family so i'm going to teach you how to tag a family okay so as you, as you can see in this project the revit link here is already unloaded that's why there is no Revit link model here. So just in case you want to load your Revit uh, link model, the architecture, I'll just need to right-click then it, right-click that and reload from. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is on this side, this side which is our west. Okay, this side. See, you can check the uh, view cube. You can see that this side is west. So we are going to create here. Uh, step footing in place family okay so to do that I'm gonna open the west elevation here okay so just double click the west elevation okay now in this side I'm going to create here and then after that I'm going to mirror to the other side okay so that is what we are going to do all right so to start with so you just need to look for the build panel on the architecture tab you can see the build panel and then there's the component you click the drop down and then you will see here model in place okay so just a bit of a background what is in place family an, an in place family it creates a component or it is a family that is unique to the project so the component exists only in context of the current project and it cannot be loaded into another project okay you can just copy that in place family and paste it to another project but you cannot use a place a component tool there and then you load it okay you cannot load that okay you can't do that because in place family is only unique on the project that you are working on so if you really want to have that same family into your another project so you need to copy paste it but it's not a good practice so it would be better if you want a family that you will be using on another project, you need to create a loadable family. Alright, but we are not going to discuss that. Okay, so let's go to our discussion about loadable or in-place family, sorry. So let's create an in-place family. Just click the drop-down arrow here and then select in-place family. You can also see that on the structure tab. If you go to the structure tab, you just look for the here model model panel and then there's the component okay so in uh, MEP in systems tab you can see it here also on the model all right so on architecture you can see it here on the build panel that one okay so if you're on structure tab you look for uh, model that's the one all right, so let's select model in place. Okay, so let's select that one. And then we will be selecting here a structural foundation. So that will going to be the category of the family that we are going to create. So structural foundation. So just double click that and then specify here the name. So the name is, let's say this is my step footing. Okay, maybe you can put there in place. Okay, so I select here okay. So you will notice your environment will change to family editor okay so as you can see you now have these tools that you can use to create the 3d model all right so i'm going to select the extrusion here so you click the extrusion 
and then after that you need to specify what is the work plane that you will be working with when you draw the profile of your extrusion so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this face here because onto this face this is where I'm going to create the extrusion alright so using the pick up plane so I'm going to select OK so we need to select the face where we want to place the work plane so I'm going to hover my pointer like that and then as you can see it highlights that face so once you see that face highlight, just need to click that to place the work plane on that place. Okay, so in case you didn't see the, the face here, it didn't highlight the face. What you can do is you hover your pointer like that and then press your tab. Do not hold the tab. So you just need to press it once. There you go. So it now highlights the face and then you click. Okay, if you select here show, you will now see that the work plane is on that face now, right? So I'm now going to hide the work plane. Okay, then let us now create the profile. So on our draw panel, so I'm going to select the line tool. So let's say uh, I'm going to pick here one foot. So maybe one foot, that's the one. And then any angle so maybe 135 so I click so when creating your extrusion so make sure it's close no intersection and no overlapping okay so that's the one so I select here modify so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select that and then I'm going to copy I'm going to select the base point here and then I'm going to place it here there you go and then modify or escape a couple of times and then after that we are going to mirror this to the other side here okay so to do that let's select uh, mirror draw axis so let's click that one and then you click the midpoint click the first point and then you click the second point here there you go and then you also need to specify what will going to be the thickness of your extrusion. So by default, it's one foot. So it's okay even if you key in here the wrong extrusion, you can still modify that. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to accept the one foot here for the extrusion of our in-place family here. So I'm just going to select here, OK. Check. And then finish model again. There you go. So in 3D view, so I select the 3D view, this is now how it looks like. So as you can see, oh, we forget to, or I forget to change the material. So I'm going to select again this. By the way, before I change the material, so let me just um, align our uh, in-place family to the face of our uh, foundation here. So to do that, I'm going to click this hold the shift and then hold the middle button to orbit my model just like that so I want to see this side here so I'm going to use the align tool so I select the align I click this face and then I select this face here there you go so it's now aligned on that face so let me orbit again okay so let me now select again uh, this face here and then let's select this face here there you go and then select modify or escape couple of times there you go so it's now aligned okay so beautiful so the next thing that we're going to let's change the material of our uh, in place family so to do that let's go back to the family editor again so to do that select edit in place family so you will be going back again to family editor so this time so let's select that family let's change the material just click that small browser there that ellipsis button so click that and then let's look for concrete oh, let's just use this one concrete cast in place gray so let's select that select ok and then finish and there you have it okay 
one last thing so what we are going to do we are going to union this in place family to our foundation here to our structural foundation so to union or to combine there is a join here on the modify tab join geometry select that one okay so select and then select oops this one and then modify oops modify there you go oh what happened there you go there seems to be a problem with the video card of my laptop you see so it's now joined there you go right and another thing that we are going to do is let us add some annotation okay so let's add the spot elevation so we are going to tag it so let's go to the west elevation and let us try to put here a, a tag an annotation so let me change this to how about shaded view or um, realistic okay so this is the realistic view so let us add a tag here annotation so let's go to the annotate tab all right so this time i'm gonna go ahead and select spot elevation so select spot elevation click that one and then you can specify here what type of spot elevation so let's say i'm going to use a crosshair project let's try this one click all right so let's pick here uh, let's use a uh, leader line and shoulder okay so let's click here there you go beautiful All right click one here click one here very nice click one here there you go okay so let's create another one here okay there you go. There you go. Beautiful. All right. So basically, that's how you add tag. And that's how you create an in-place family for your step footing uh, family, for example. All right. So hopefully, guys, you have learned something in this video. If you have comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.